kumechacha 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 na baridi wow kumechacha kumechacha <laughs> kumechacha <laughs> hello everybody welcome to kumechacha we are standing at pens landing yeah wow yeah. grace let me walk around as you describe where, where we are where we are i'm trying to take a picture of these birds that are trying to run away from us yeah we have the seagulls wow they're, they're beautiful they just yes. pose up there for us yes and the place is very windy mm -hmm. we are right next to the sea is mm -hmm. it the sea or the lake grace no this is actually delaware river yes this is a river that bridges uh pennsylvania and new jersey actually if you take the benjamin franklin bridge right behind us uh -huh. it takes you you can take it by train you can walk there yeah or you can uh, take the your car right across the bridge and the first thing you meet is uh, Camden New Jersey yes yeah and I think I can see the aquarium right there I understand they have one of the biggest octopuses or octopi I yeah think that's octopi. The name. yes is that where the octopus disappeared <laughs> I don't know I don't <laughs> we have know. to go back to the news but I do think that a, a huge octopus escaped from the New Jersey aquarium yes yeah well let's talk about pens landing grace my mouth is freezing <laughs> So, uh, Grace, uh, Penn's Landing uh, was uh, launched or came into being in the 1600s. This is where William Penn, one of the founders of what is known as Pennsylvania, made his first landing into the state that's known as Pennsylvania. Yes. And so there's a lot of history behind this particular location. Yeah, William Penn landed here in 1682. So Penn's Landing is a commemoration of his landing in Pennsylvania. Yes. You know, he came and conquered, but that is history. That's history, <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, so you'll see here there's a lot of people who are doing It's like a mini port into itself. Uh, people, uh, there's a transport that happens along the Delaware River that uh, brings things from different states into, into the uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey area. Yeah. And so it's a nice place to come and sit here. It's not just uh, for uh, commerce. There's also, you can see there's a river rink, right? Uh, it's called the Blue Cross River Rink. Yes. And now it's trans being transformed into an ice rink. I think they're actually setting it up today. So they have construction workers that are setting it up. Yes. It's a place where a lot of people can come and hang out from the summer to the winter. There's something that you can always experience here at uh, Penn's Landing. Yeah, and the Grace, I can see a lot of aeroplanes flying over and also yes. boats. Also boats. It's quite a busy area. Yes. I can see the spirit of Philadelphia. This is the boat where you can go in for about two hours and eat and yes. dance. You can hold your wedding reception there as well and just have a family get together yeah so if you're standing here if you just walk a little bit to the right of the main pens landing area there's mm -hmm. a restaurant called the Moshulu mm -hmm. and it's a restaurant that's ex entirely on the water so if you're looking for an interesting experience sitting on a boat yes. you can certainly come here and find it this is amazing and right behind us I can see people are skating do you know something about the skating uh, area well I was just saying that they haven't set it up yet they're just yeah. uh, they're just now changing it from the summer what it used to be there used to be beaches they would put like hammocks but because they want this to be a 324, 365, they're setting up ice, an ice uh, skating. So if you know how to skate in Philadelphia, you can just come behind us and you'll find a good place to hang out. Yes, and uh, Grace, I remember that I've, I have been here several times before because a lot of holiday uh, events take place here, mm -hmm. like the July 4 and Memorial Days. And this is mm -hmm. where if you really want to see the... The fire, is it firecrackers? Yeah. What's it called? The, fi the, the fireworks. The fireworks, yeah. yeah. They have a beautiful fireworks. Grace, I don't here. mean to stop you, but you see this bird here is posing with us. Oh, this bird. Oh. This bird. Come this way so we I can think, pose together yes, with I the bird. This bird is called a coco cock. So in my place, it's called a coco cock. So I'm going to ask it to make my nails as white as, as it. You know, as its feathers. As its feathers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you to exchange for me my ugly nails and yeah. the beautiful feathers. Like that. these birds are more relaxed, like than the chickens <laughs> yeah, in our neighborhood. These, these birds are chicken, river chickens. <laughs> Yes. Oh Lord, yeah, so, they're beautiful, yeah. beautiful, white birds. Yeah, so yes. in the spirit of like Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. sometimes you may want to take Thanksgiving as your own time to sit and reflect. Maybe you just want to be alone and take your time off, you deserve it. So, you know, do not have to stay in the house. You can come out here and bring your notebook and journal right next to the water, actually. It's quite peaceful. Yes, and if you want to relieve your childhood, you used to, we used to swing in something called the swoyo swoyo uh -huh. or the swing. Yeah. We have a lot of beautiful hammocks where for adults where you can just sleep and swing and swing and swing. <laughs> yeah? yeah, and just let uh, the world, you know, the universe flow you around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, Grace, there's another, another noisy bird, but that's a pigeon, I think. I think we're having oh, a variety like of birds. Lovers. This is a fantastic place. <laughs> 
for bird lovers. Yes. If you love birds, come here with your microscope. My telescope? Binoculars. Binoculars. Oh, Grace, <laughs> we, need, we need to take Grace back to science. I need to school. go to back to science science class. Yeah. Come here with your Binoculars? Binoculars. Yes, yes. I see this. Bird lovers. Yes. This is an amazing place to be. So it's windy here today in Akwambia, so that's why we are bundled up. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're coming out here, be bundled, bring your kabuti, bring your earmuffs and everything, mm -hmm. and get prepared to enjoy some beautiful nature that we have right in the middle of the city, Grace. Yes, and if you're yeah. in Center City or in uh, some parts of Philadelphia, the buses that come here are number t bus number 12, 21, 21. <laughs> 42 yes. yeah there's yeah. a lot of buses just check on yeah. scepter.org uh, and, and they leave you yeah. right at the entrance yes yeah and then there are like a thousand staircases where you can sit yeah you can so either many. come with your seat or just come and sit on the stairs mm -hmm. remember to bring a blanket because there's some breeze here yeah that uh oh it's really really it's cold it's really breezy yes you can see the water the 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 let me let my phone not fall on the floor but you can see the waves are beating down the pier. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really windy day here, but it's quite beautiful to I look at. I don't see any fish in here. Do you think they might have some tilapia? I think they have some tilapia in oh, here. Oh, I wish I could these. come with my fishing rod and just have some tilapia. Go make some, go eat the head of a fish because it's really a long time since I ate the head of a fish. Yeah, great. And this come. is Thanksgiving. And what a better what what a, a better way to celebrate Thanksgiving than eat the head Honoring of a fish? Honoring the spirits of Lake Victoria, Victoria by finding yes. some fish here. Yes. Maybe this is where the American nyawawa comes from, Grace. Yeah, probably because as you can see, oh, you know that when it comes to nyawawa, that's my expert topic. <laughs> so you, as you can see, the waters are so deep. Yes. Probably there are spirits yes. in there, but yes. we'll wait again for the next nyawawa season and we'll be right back here yes. with you, checking out and researching and interviewing people here if they've seen any spirits coming from the water. Eh, 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 kumechacha. Kumechacha, Grace. Kumechacha, Queen. Yes, and don't forget to join us this Saturday yes. at 11 a.m. EST, that's mm -hmm. American time, mm -hmm. and uh, Kenyan time? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yes. Yes. So join us for the Saturday Day Diaspora Africa Breakfast Show, yes. where we'll give you a touch of Africa in America. Yes. yes. Kumechacha. 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 Kumechacha, Grace. Kumechacha. Kumechacha. <laughs>